In this video, what I wanna do is I wanna give you a little bit more usability, okay? Some of the next few activities, we're gonna be needing to turn on multiple outputs while at the same time, we're going to be needing to step that sequencer along a little bit differently. So let's say we had, let's say we we're like bottling bottles at a manufacturing plant and the bottles are moving along the factory line. And every time it gets to a new position, I want to bump the sequencer along or I want to go to the next step. So maybe I have a bunch of different uh, sensors in this in the, the factory or that line. I'm sorry, that manufacturing line has a bunch of different sensors. And every time the box or the bottle moves up to it, it's going to make move to the next step. So how we would do that is all we would do is start doing some drop rungs on on here. We can go ahead and we can put we can probably do multiples of them actually let's do three and that'll kind of get you guys started so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put one on my i colon zero slash two and it's just going to be a button let me make sure actually we're going to switch that to three and then i'm going to hook one to my other blue button which is i colon zero slash zero Okay, so now I have three buttons that could potentially turn on or move my sequencer to the next step. But let's quickly go over this before I download it. We're just gonna do this really quick, is what if I wanted to turn on multiple lights with one, um, one bit, okay? So maybe it is looking at that N7, but what if I need to turn on two lights at the, at the same time or I need to turn on a bunch of different outlets or outputs? I could just keep on stacking them here and I could have five or six of them. So that's another option if you ever need to do that, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete this. So that way we can go ahead and download. All right, so we have a regular step button up here that is stepping the sequencer. But now I just added another button or it could be a sensor. And when I press it, it's gonna move it to the next step too. Or I can also do this guy down here and it's gonna move it to the next step too, okay? So potentially you could have five or six different sensors that push that sequencer to the next step. Same thing, again, going back to those, those lights, you could have 10 different lights turn on with each bit, okay? So think about that in the next upcoming labs because you're gonna to need to have that ability. Go ahead and move on.